Hey lifers, Dustin here, and I would like to officially welcome you to ACC Week, Atlantic Coast Conference Week here on the channel. All week I'm going to be doing all kinds of ACC specialty videos, top 10 lists, what ifs that are all ACC centric, as well as ACC team previews coming up in the next few days, so definitely make sure to stick around for that. In today's video I want to talk about what I think are the top 10 ACC conference games of 2017, the ones that I'm the most looking forward to seeing this fall. I do want to warn you that also with all of the other conference top 10 games that are coming up uh, over the next few weeks, a lot of these are going to be repeat offenders. It's going to be kind of a round robin schedule. It just tends to be the way it is. That there's two or three teams in one division, two or three teams in the other division, and all of their games kind of matter. So it's a bit repetitive, but we'll get through it. Let's start off with number 10, and that is going to be Louisville at NC State on Thursday, October 5th. NC State has kind of garnered the reputation over the years of being a bit of an ACC spoiler, whether it be against Florida State in 1998 or 2012, or against Clemson in 2011. Many a national championship hope has been dashed by the hands of NC State. And what did all of these games have in common? They were all played in Raleigh. I think NC State fans have a pretty big pride chip on their shoulder. That doesn't make sense. I think they take a lot of pride in their Thursday night games, and that's why I'm really excited about the defending Heisman Trophy winner Lamar Jackson coming to Raleigh for the first time as starting quarterback. Last year, after NC State should have beaten Clemson on the road, they traveled to Louisville, and I expected them to put up a hell of a fight and give Louisville everything they could take and Louisville won 54 to 13. But I think that was in part due to the just gut-wrenching loss that they had at Clemson. It won't be the same this year, probably. NC State gets Syracuse the week before the Cardinals. Number 9, Clemson at Virginia Tech, September 30th. A rematch of a seven-point conference championship game from a year ago. This game really should be higher up on the list, but both teams lost so much offensive talent in the offseason. Both teams are coming off 10-plus win seasons. Obviously, Clemson won the national championship, but Virginia Tech won a championship of their own in the Coastal Division, and this will be the Tigers' first trip to Blacksburg since a 23-3 win in 2011. I think both of these teams, both of these programs have so much in common, and I think it will always be interesting to watch Dabo versus Justin Fuente. Number 8, North Carolina at Pitt, Thursday, November 9th. Somewhat surprisingly, North Carolina has actually won all four meetings between these two as ACC opponents, but they all have been by a touchdown or less. Depending on how things go in the always chaotic Coastal Division, this could very well be a coastal clinching win. This game will be the second in the last three years between these two on Thursday night, and it could be a continuation of Larry Fedora's rebuilding job at North Carolina, or a huge win for Pat Narduzzi and Pitt to finally get over the UNC hump. Number 7, Pitt at Virginia Tech, November 18th. These old Big East rivals have also had their fair share of tough games over the last few years, with the last three being decided by less than a touchdown and getting closer and closer every year. Pittsburgh may have beaten the ACC, National, and Big Ten champion last year, but they didn't beat the ACC Coastal champion Virginia Tech as they won despite a late pit rally. Considering this is the next to last game of the regular season, I don't see why one of these teams could not very well clinch the division this week if they had not already clinched it the week before. Number 6, Miami at Pitt, Friday, November 24th. Well, hello again there, Pitt. Uh, I do think that the top three teams in the division this year will probably be Miami, Virginia Tech, and Pitt. And so for the number 5 entry on this list, you'll, you'll see another familiar game. This game is also interesting to me because it is a game between the two most far-reaching teams in the ACC between Miami and Pittsburgh, and I wonder how Miami will do in Pittsburgh in the cold this late in the season. I highly doubt last year's 51-28 Miami victory will be sitting very well with Pat Narduzzi at this point, and Miami's 3-1 in ACC play between these two teams. 
This game is the very last game on the season for both teams before the ACC championship game. So I think that that I think the Coastal Division winner will be decided before this game, but it could very well help determine ACC bowl positioning. Number five, Virginia Tech at Miami, November 4th. These two teams have played every single year since 1992, a rarity for expansion teams. This series has been pretty interesting recently considering the last five games haven't really been that close at all. This game falls very nicely on the schedule for Virginia Tech as it's in between games between Duke and Georgia Tech, but not as much for Miami in between games of North Carolina and Notre Dame. You already know how important this game is for ACC, Coastal Division, Championships, and Bowl Packing Order because of all the other games. The pit games that I talked about earlier, so we are now officially done with ACC Coastal Round Robins. Number 4, Miami at Florida State, September 16th. This is one of the most even rivalries in the country with Miami leading 31-30. to That's the good news. The bad news for the Hurricanes? They haven't beaten the Seminole since 2009. The last three years between these teams have been really close, and last year Florida State only won because of a blocked extra point. That loss started a four-game slide by Miami. They did finish the season strong, and Miami has an easier road to this game, opening up against Bethune-Cookman and Arkansas State. Florida State gets Alabama in the season opener. The Hurricanes may be better rested coming into this game, but Florida State may be more experienced and have more confidence depending on how that season opening game goes. If Mark Rick wants to jumpstart his second season at his alma mater at Miami, this game is almost a must win. Number three, Louisville at Florida State, October 21st. The Lamar Jackson show at home last season against then number two Florida State at a noon kickoff had about as surprising of a final score as any game last season at all. The Seminoles will hope to avenge their 63-20 loss last season this year at home. Jackson had a little bit of a slide at the end of last season as far as his stats and the team's overall performance. Has he been figured out? Will this game be DeAndre Francois' Heisman boost midway through the season to launch him into national consideration for the award? For whatever it's worth, the last time Louisville visited Florida State, they lost by 20. Number 2. Clemson at Louisville, September 16th. All three meetings between these two teams have gone down to pretty much the very last play of the game. All three were Clemson wins, but none of them were easy. Last year was probably the ACC's game of the year, and at the end of the season, we found out that both quarterbacks for these two teams were the two Heisman finalists, but Deshaun Watson is gone this year, and Lamar Jackson is not. Jackson had 457 total yards last year in Death Valley, but Clemson's defensive line this year could probably be one of the best in conference history, let alone school history. Can they slow down Lamar Jackson and all the new weapons he's going to have to find before this game? It's a little bit of a bummer for Louisville fans that this game is a 3.30 kickoff. I, um, along with many people, expected it to be the 8 p.m. or 7.45, but it did not stop Louisville last year against Florida State, and it probably will not stop them again this year against Clemson. And my number one ACC game of the year that I'm most excited for, most ready to see, I don't think it's any surprise, it is Florida State at Clemson November 11th. Until another rivalry game in the conference tops it, this is going to continue to be the must-see ACC game every single season. A rivalry once dominated by Florida State, the two teams have combined to win every single Atlantic Division title since 2009 in the last six ACC championships, including three apiece, and each team has won a national championship during that span. Along with the two national championships, they also have two national championship game appearances and have represented the ACC in all three college football playoffs. Florida State will come into Death Valley with by far the more experienced quarterback, but just like against the Cardinals, Clemson will have the far more superior defense. This is a game that very well could determine the ACC Atlantic once again, who represents the ACC in the college football playoff or at least the Orange Bowl Everything will probably be on the line in late, well, mid-November during this game with only a few games left for redemption if one were to lose. 
So that's it for my top 10 ACC conference games that I'm most looking forward to in 2017. Let me know what games you are most looking forward to. Who is your team's biggest threat coming into the 2017 season? Let me know down below. Thank you all so much for watching. I really appreciate it. As always, if you enjoyed this video, make sure to give it a big thumbs up. You can also click the circle right there in the corner in order to subscribe or watch any of the other videos over to the right that YouTube has suggested for you. Thank you so much for watching. And as always, until next time. As well, it's ACC team previews coming up in the next few days, so definitely make sure to stick around for that. In today's video, I want to talk about what I think are the top 10 ACC conference games of 2017, the ones that I'm the most looking forward to seeing this fall. I do want to warn you that also with all of the other conference top 10 games that are coming up uh, over the next few weeks, a lot of these are going to be repeat offenders. It's going to be kind of a round-robin schedule. It just tends to be the way it is. That there's two or three teams in one division, two or three teams in the other division, and all of their games kind of matter. So it's a bit repetitive, but we'll get through it. Let's start off with number 10, and that is going to be Louisville at NC State on Thursday, October 5th. NC State has kind of garnered the reputation over the years of being a bit of an ACC spoiler whether it be against Florida State in 1998 or 2012, or against Clemson in 2011, many a national championship hope has been dashed by the hands of NC State. And what did all of these games have in common? That were... Hey, lifers, Dustin here, and I would like to officially welcome you to ACC Week, Atlantic Coast Conference Week here on the channel. All week, I'm going to be doing all kinds of ACC specialty videos, top 10 lists, what-ifs that are all ACC-centric, 